All right, so today we're really diving deep into AI agents. It's something I know um, a lot of you have been asking about and, and for good reason. Yeah, it seems like uh, every single day there's something new in the AI world. Exactly. And and this shift to AI agents, I mean, this could be huge, really huge. We're not just talking about, you know, smarter algorithms anymore. This is different. Yeah, this is like almost like digital partners, you know, actually um, acting on our behalf. Yeah, it really is a, a fundamental change what we're seeing going on. AI is kind of transitioning from just, you know, analyzing data to to making decisions, like actually executing tasks and and interacting with the world in ways we just haven't seen before. It's incredible. Yeah. And and get this. So Kevin Weil, the chief product officer over at OpenAI, he's predicting that AI agents will be as common as smartphones by 2025. Wow. That's that's not far off. That's really soon. I know. Yeah. So imagine so imagine instead of just, you know, getting notifications your AI agent is is drafting replies to your emails. Uh, it's booking your flights. Maybe it's even like writing code alongside you. Yeah, well, OpenAI is making huge strides in this direction, especially with, with their work on creating these models that are not only faster and, and more affordable, but, but also visually aware. So these new models are actually being designed to, to see and understand images, wow. which, is, which is essential for these AI agents that you know, need to be able to interact with the visual world around them. It's like, you know, when when voice assistants like first came out, yeah. I remember thinking, wow, this is so cool. But it's also a little strange, like talking to my phone. And and now now we're talking about AI agents that can not only understand what we're what we're saying, but also interpret images and then like take action based on that information. Yeah, it's it's a whole other level. It is. And it really shows, you know, how fast this technology is is advanced. Like think back to to the early days of self-driving cars. Like remember all the kind of uncertainty and even even fear surrounding them at first. Yeah. And now now you've got services like Waymo that are that are becoming normal. Normal in cities like San Francisco, I think we could see a really similar, maybe even faster shift in like our comfort levels with with these AI agents as they as they develop. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So we're like we're on this fast track, you know, to this world filled with AI agents. But um, but maybe let's like hit the bricks for a second. Yeah. Take a breath. Yeah, because this rapid development, I mean, as exciting as it is, it really does. um bring up some some pretty serious questions. It does. I'm talking like the big stuff, you know, like privacy, data security, the whole future of work. Like like what happens when when AI isn't just, you know, helping us with tasks, but but like actually maybe making decisions that that have, you know, real world consequences. Exactly. These are the I mean, these are really the crucial questions we need to be asking right now. Totally. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, he he, he describes the shift as like moving from what he calls second level AI to to this kind of uncharted territory of autonomous agents autonomous agents okay yeah so so not just ai that like processes information but ai that can like learn and adapt and and actually like act independently exactly. that's that's wild <laughs> it's almost it's almost like um like delegating tasks to like a, a really really capable like digital assistant mm -hmm. yeah but, but one that's like constantly learning and and evolving mm -hmm. I mean, what does that even mean for like our day-to-day -day lives well I, I think it means that you know we're we're on the verge of this world where we're really we're really entrusting a, a significant amount of control to these AI systems wow think about it like you know AI agents could be managing our schedules they could be handling our finances even even interacting with with other AI agents on our behalf that's a lot it is and and that level of of autonomy I think really requires um, careful consideration. Yeah, and and honestly, like maybe a little bit of a reality check. Like we need to be sure that that we're we're okay with with the level of responsibility that we're that we're kind of handing over. Absolutely, yeah, and and we need to to make sure we understand like the the potential downsides too. Of course, this isn't just about AI being like smart. Yeah. It's about how how those how that smartness I get how those smarts are are applied in in the real world exactly right? yeah like take take the job market for instance yeah. well ai agents you know they could lead to increased efficiency increased productivity there's there's also that potential for you know job displacement and and look this isn't about ai like taking over the world or anything like that right but it is about recognizing that that some jobs like as we know them now they they might look really different in the future yeah that's a that's a valid concern it feels like we're at this this crossroads where we get to decide, 
how this technology shapes our future. Yeah, I think that's a good way to, to put it. And and that's that's actually the exciting part. You know, we're we're not just uh along for the ride here. Right. We yeah. we really have this this incredible opportunity to to shape this technology as it develops, to make sure it's it's used ethically, responsibly, and and you know that it that it benefits benefits everybody. Okay, so so how do we do that? Like, how yeah. do we how do we become like you were saying earlier these these AI literate citizens, and and how do we how do we make sure our voices are heard? Well. I I think it, it starts with with awareness, right? Just like staying informed, staying up to date about about all the the latest developments in AI. Okay. But uh, but it's it's more than just like understanding the tech. Yeah. It's about you know really really engaging in these in these thoughtful conversations about the implications of it all. Yeah. You know, like like what are the what are the potential benefits and and drawbacks of of AI agents in in these different areas of our lives? Yeah, yeah. How do we how do we make sure these systems are you know developed and and deployed ethically? And and these aren't these aren't just questions for like you know the the tech experts to be thinking about. Right. These are these are questions for for everyone. So so it's about it's about being like proactive. Yes. Not not just reactive. Exactly. Like instead of instead of waiting to see what happens, we need to be, you know, actively involved in in shaping in shaping this future of AI. I, I couldn't agree more. And and honestly that future, you know, it, it really does have the potential to be to be incredibly positive. Yeah. Imagine like imagine a world where where AI agents are are actually helping us to to be more efficient, to be more creative, even even more fulfilled. Yeah. Like imagine a world where where we can, you know, delegate all these these tedious tasks to to AI and and that that frees up our time and, and energy to, to really pursue, you know, our passions like like instead of instead of spending, you know, hours and hours on on paperwork or, or emails or, you know, whatever it is. Imagine imagine having more time to, to write that novel you've always wanted to write or, or learn learn a new language or even just even just connect with with loved ones. Yeah, that's a, that's a future I can definitely get behind. But yeah, but how do we how do we make sure that AI like empowers us? Mm. That it doesn't doesn't replace us. Well, you know, I think I think it's about it's about focusing on on the human element. Okay. As as AI kind of takes on you know more and more of these these tasks, like we we need to be, you know, we need to be adapting and, and we need to be developing skills that that complement AI, not you know not compete with it. Right. Like like creativity, critical thinking, you know, emotional intelligence. These are these are uniquely human skills that yeah. that are going to become I think even more valuable in in this. this this AI driven world that that we're we're moving into. So so as as we kind of wrap up our, our deep dive here into mm -hmm. into the world of, of AI agents, I think I think a, a key takeaway here is that you know the future isn't predetermined. It's mm -hmm. it's being mm -hmm. shaped right now by by the choices that that we're making, like like today. Absolutely. You know, this is this is an incredible time to be alive. Like it or not, it's it's a time of of just unprecedented technological advancement. But you know, but with that advancement, of course, comes comes responsibility. Yeah. And and you know, it it really is up to, to all of us to to stay informed, to to engage in in this this thoughtful dialogue and, and just and just help help shape this this AI powered future. Future that you know that that benefits everyone. It's a it's a future that's uh, certainly full of possibility. Yeah, for sure. And and I for one, I'm I'm excited to see what we do with it. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us today on this deep dive, everybody. And and remember, you know the the conversation it, it doesn't end here. Like keep keep exploring, keep keep asking questions, and and let's all you know let's build that that future that that we all want to see. Yeah.